Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Kirkwood Gardens at the Squam Lakes Natural Science Center. I'm joined by Emma Erler. And Emma, it's the time of year when things are starting to green up, but that's not always the case, is it? It's not, unfortunately. A lot of shrubs this time of year are probably showing signs of winter burn. This is a great example of winter burn right here on this mountain laurel. This was a plant that went into the ground pretty recently within the last year or so. And as you can see, its leaves are looking awfully brown and crispy this time of year. Yeah, now we do see some green, well, semi-green <laughs> ones there. Uh, in terms of, do I just go in? I notice you have some pruners here. Do I start cutting the brown ones now or what's the situation here? Well, in early spring, despite the fact that these shrubs often look terrible, I typically advise people to wait. Broadleaf evergreens, like the mountain laurel, like a rhododendron, have dormant buds in their stems. So even if the upper part of uh, a stem was killed or if the leaves look dead, it's possible there will be some new growth in May and June. So you're telling me there's a chance? There's a chance. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now with this particular shrub, I think we're probably just gonna have to replace it. If you really can't stand the look of this and you wanna be thinking about replacing earlier and you can't wait till May to know if it's dead or not, something you can do pretty easily is to take your fingernail or pruners like I have and scrape a little bit of the bark away. Underneath here, it's looking just pretty brown and dead. If this was a live, healthy stem, there would be bright green showing just under the bark. And Emma, does this hold true for all types of shrubs, for instance, like hollies or things like that? So it holds true for sure for all of the broadleaf evergreens. So that would be your, your mountain laurels, your hollies, your rhododendrons. If, however, you have a needled evergreen, like a camisiparis, uh, or uh, a yew or something similar, and that's showing a lot of brown this time of year, chances are you're just gonna have to replace it. Okay, so the bottom line though is don't go crazy just yet. Give it a chance to come back and then in May make your decision. And that's it for today's Grow It Green.